under attack. Renegades, they surrounded us on the island. We don't stand a chance. I'm begging you, help. You can come out. They can't bother you now. What happened here? When we were just working, then they attacked. Went for our supplies and cut down anyone in their way. Yeah, but not everyone. The others, where are they? I didn't see anyone else. They must have been taken. Oh, God. Maria. Robert. They took my friends. You know where they would have taken your friends? The border between the Butcher's turf and ours is close to here. That's where the renegades have their camp. Will you help them? Please? There are no peacekeepers here. No one to help them. I'll try. Thank you. Be careful. They might have outposts along the route. I'll guide you over the radio. My name's Casper.
That survivor was right. Something is really fucking wrong here. I'm at the first outpost. There's no sign of your friends. Well, they must have moved on toward the camp. Uh, further west on Fulton Tower Road. Catch them before they get there. I'm on my way. No. Uh, I don't understand. They said the renegades are dangerous, but the ceasefire lasted for years. It's as if they no longer fear the peacekeepers. What changed that? Maybe we're about to find out. I'll be in touch. <sighs> There's no one here either. They might have stopped at the overlook by the windmill on Garrison Boulevard. Hurry up. If they reach camp, it'll be much harder to rescue them. I'll catch up to them. Think I saw who was commanding those renegades. It was Elias. He was a survivor. Uh, lived in the area two years ago. He was a lawyer before the epidemic, a man of principle. Then he disappeared. There was a lot of talk about it. It disappeared. A year ago, this guy came sniffing around here. One of the butcher's men, they said. And that he worked for the GRE back in the day. He tried to talk people into going to the dam. Promised them weapons. And the ones who did, never came back. When I saw Elias just before, he looked strung out. Like he was on drugs. His eyes, terrifying, as if there was no one left behind them. I'll look into it.
made it. All I found were some renegades here. So they made it to the camp. There's no saving my friends now. I'll scout out the camp and see what I find. I need their ass, but we can't give up. Help them.
Let these people go. Oh, don't think so, PK Puppet Boy. You're gonna strangle on your strings. Curtain's coming down on all of you. But we ain't got no strings. He cut us free. What the fuck are you talking about? The Master freed our bodies and minds. We now see that each time we strike down an enemy, we absorb their strength. Now you can join us, or you can meet your maker this very day. Thanks for the offer, but you're fucking nuts. You understand nothing. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. 
Get this. This way, there's a side gate. Uh, hello, it's Aiden. Your friends are safe and sound. Thank you, Aiden. We are all deeply in your debt.
Can't you figure that out? I don't know what to do. You spend all your time caring for her. Well, now I'm going to start living a rural life. I got it all. Helping those buy, sell, and trade crystals. Amazing design. Later. You think there's something wrong better. with me? You came to the right place. What a find. I always buy fast moving items. Sold. You got the right stuff, mister. Thanks for being a great thing wrong with you. Sounds like girl. He needs to apologize for me. I
There was nothing, sir. I heard the place you're looking for was destroyed. I'm sorry. Thanks. But sorry isn't much consolation. I know, son. But I might be able to help you out. I'll get back to you. I see you picked up some of my old gear. You know what I'm referring to, right? Those bows. Let me guess. You found them in one of my old hunting grounds. But don't worry. I'm not upset or anything. Actually, I'm impressed. Not many people can get into those places. Look, I'll make this quick. Haven't got much time. We hunt down rare mutations. They're extremely dangerous. Probably escape some special GRE labs or who knows. Maybe hell itself. Doesn't matter anyway. What matters is the mark. My target. I track it down, eliminate it, and move on to the next one. Came here to hunt down this thing we call the Hag. You fought a Banshee before, right? Well, this beauty is much faster and much tougher. And totally unaffected by daylight. It lies low somewhere, but doesn't stay that way for long. Patience is a hunter's greatest asset. Perhaps you'll soon join our ranks as a hunter. I could wish you good luck. You don't need it, though. I know you got this. You don't give up. It's what I like about you. You're persistent. You remind me of myself. Gotta say, I like having you around. Yeah. <laughs> 
Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right.
What the fuck just happened here? My goods. Impressive selection, right? Now that's what I call a good purchase. Make sure you... Then take uh, care. What did they serve you? Halt. Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Thanks. Where's dispatch? There! All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. 
Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Want something from me? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry! happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Save him! You Take him me? to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers. But you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage. And instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there? Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Juan would rather enjoy his caviar than take care of that mountain. Move along, citizen. All hands up. Everything I sell comes with an ironclad guarantee. What a smart buy. Drop your anchor here anytime. Hey, you. Want to be sent back to the Outlands? Keep that guy on.
So you don't remember when it happened? <laughs> It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. They'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. They're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So, you are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well... Perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? 
I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao. <sighs>
Pick it up again. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime. Please. Just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it. Keep that witch's poison away from him. I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men. She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead. What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison. I guarantee it. Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it. How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I, 
I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you.